remember it should equals to zero so if you have any number on the other side you have to move it to the left side to make it equals to zero so remember it should equals to zero so if there is any number on the other side you have to move it to the left side to make it equals to zero and there are two cases here either a equals one or a doesn't equal to one because both have different you know ways of solving let me start with the first case but before that i need to introduce to you that it has three terms the first term has a times x power 2 which a is a number b plus bx bx is the second term so the coefficient is b here it's written plus b but b might be negative so it might be minus 5x for example so here b is my negative 5 plus c equals to zero so c here here is also a number which is called the constant so the coefficient with of the quadratic term is a and the coefficient of the linear term is b because this is linear because the power of x is one the first term is quadratic because the power is two the third one the third term is c it doesn't have x that's why they call it constant so for example 3x power 2 plus 5x plus 7 equals to 0 so a is a 3 b is 5 c is 7 so the first case when a equals to 1 case 1 a equals to 1 so here a is 1 b is negative 4 c is 3 if you see a is 1 quickly remember the way of sum and product it's called sum and product what is it you need to look for two numbers that have the sum of b which is negative 4 and the product of c which is 3 so this coefficient the linear coefficient is sum and the constant is product So we call this way sum and product. When do we use that? When a equals to one, like in this uh, example. Then you have to open two brackets multiplied by each other and type x here and x here equals to zero. Always start with this. Always start with this. Now, there are spaces here. The numbers that you will find that have the sum of negative 4 and the product of 3 you will put them here now look for two numbers that if you add them you will get negative 4 and if you multiply them you will get 3 so what are the numbers that if I multiply them I'm gonna get 3 either 3 and 1 but the sum is 4 I need the sum to be negative 4 what about negative 3 and negative 1 negative 3 times negative 1 is 3 so the product is 3 negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4 so the numbers are negative 3 and negative 1 you factored the quadratic equation into two brackets so we call that factoring or in maybe other languages like factorizing or just factoring so we use factoring when a equals 1 and we use sum and product if a equals 1 straight away go for sum and, sum and product look for two numbers that have the sum of b and the product of c so here now you have x minus 3 times x minus 1 equals 0 i have here two brackets if you multiply them you are going to get 0 one of the brackets must be 0 because there are two things if you multiply them by each other you are going to get 0 one of them must be 0 so draw a line like that here and say either the first one is 0, x minus 3 equals 0. Then move negative 3 to the other side, so it, x will be 3. Or maybe the other bracket is 0, x minus 1 is 0. So plus 1, plus 1, x will be 1. So this quadratic equation has two answers. We call them the roots of it. So the solutions are 3 and 1. We call this way factoring by using sum and product when A equals 1. 
Let me solve another example. What about this question? x squared minus 6x minus 7 equals to 0. So a is 1, b is negative 6, c is negative 7. Since a is 1, so we go to the first case, which is a equals to 1. So I will remember straight away factoring by using sum and product. b is the sum, and c is product. Two brackets multiplied by each other equals zero and put x here and x here. This is a very easy way to do it. Now, what are the two numbers that if you add them, you are gonna get negative six, and if you multiply them, you will get negative seven. If you multiply them, the answer is negative. So that means one is positive, one is negative. What are the numbers that if you multiply them, you will get seven, seven and one. So one of them must be negative because the product is negative. What about negative one and positive seven? If you multiply them, you will get negative seven, but if you add them, you'll get six. Here I want the sum is negative six. So straight away, I will choose negative seven and one because negative seven plus one is negative six. Negative seven times one is negative seven. So negative seven and one. Now I have two brackets multiplied by each other. The answer is zero. One of them is zero. Which one? I don't know. I should discuss both cases. I should say either x minus seven is zero. That means x equals to seven. Or I'm writing over here. The other bracket is zero. There must be a problem coming from one of them. One of them is zero. So x plus one equals zero, move one to the other side, it's gonna be negative one. So the answers are seven and negative one. We call them the roots or the solutions. And there are two solutions here. Now it's your turn. Now, what if a doesn't equal to one? I don't want to explain the other way which is factoring which is called product product it's a little bit tricky for you just remember this is better for you just use the quadratic formula so when a doesn't equal to one please don't use sum and product because it's not gonna work and instead use the quadratic formula which is x equals to a long fraction negative b plus minus squared root of b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2a. Look at this example. So here it's obvious that a is 3, so it doesn't equal to 1. b is negative 4, c is negative 10. Straight away this formula, which is called the quadratic formula, straight away it will give you the solutions, but you need a calculator for them. x equals you need to open brackets for that otherwise you will make mistakes negative b so b is negative 4 plus minus root 4 which comes from the formula itself times a times c so i open brackets because i don't want to make mistakes a is a 3 c is negative 10 so times a 3 times negative 10 over 2a 2 times a a is a 3 so here you will use your calculator twice first one you will choose a plus squared root second time you will choose minus so if you use your calculator you will get the answer so this is the calculator i will start with a fraction first then i will type the numerator negative negative 4 negative negative 4 i close the bracket then I will start with plus, plus squared root, four times three times negative 10, four, open bracket, three, close bracket, then open another bracket, times negative 10, close the bracket. Then I go down and I type two times a three, which is two a. So it will look like that. So in this case, I got math error. That means there is no solution for this equation. So just write no solution. What if I change something here like in the question, like make this positive 10. So here C will be positive. So here instead of negative 10, I will write it positive 10. And I will see the answer. I will change it to positive 10. So the first one 
<coughs> will be 2.5 so x equals 2.5 or the second one now I will try to use negative minus root not plus root so I will change it to minus delete it and just write minus instead of the plus so the second one is negative 1.15 So it gave me two answers. In words, if A equals one, use sum and product. If A doesn't equal to one, use the quadratic formula. If you use a quadratic formula in a very proper way without mistakes and you got error, that means there's no solution. If you get like roots and fractions, just click on SD on the calculator so it will give it to you in decimal. What about this example? This equation looks very difficult. First of all, how did I know that it's a quadratic equation? Since the highest degree is two, that means it's a quadratic equation. So A is the coefficient of the quadratic term, which is six. B is the coefficient of the linear term, which is negative 12. C is the constant, which is negative 48. So as a student, you just need to circle A and just type A and circle B and type B and circle C and type C. So when you know A, B and C, the solution will be easy. Just substitute in the quadratic formula, which is X equals negative B plus minus root B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So A is 6. C is negative 48, B is negative 12. Now how to do it? Negative, open bracket, why? Because negative here is coming from the formula, B here is negative 12, so you have two negatives, or two negative signs. Now plus minus, I would write them together. B squared, so negative 12 squared, I should put it inside the bracket, because the squared is for all of them. Minus four times A, which is six <coughs> times C, which is negative 48. Always when you open brackets in mathematics, you will sort of one. Divided by two times A, which is six. So if you use the calculator twice, you will get X1 and X2, the two solutions. One of them is negative two, and one of them is four.